Hi, I'm Ramona, and welcome to Ramona Interviews. And with me in the chair today is Michelle Fontaine. Now, she is the president and entrepreneur. She had a, has a company called FB Smarty, and she's here to tell us about social media. Now, this is such a wide field. But we're going to narrow it down for you, whether you're a, a busy, busy mom or caretaker, small business person, entrepreneur, we are going to give you tips and get you moving into social media. Welcome, Michelle, and thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. Let's start at the beginning. How did you arrive at the doorstep of social media? Social media is marketing. It's no more, no less than another kind of marketing. And I've been in marketing communications my whole career. And that it just naturally gravitated. About 2010, I was standing on the beach with my daughter, and she was Facebooking on her cell phone, and she said, Mom, you should be teaching social media. And I said, you're right. And since that happened, my sole focus has been social media, another part of marketing work. And how did you come up with the name FB Smarty? Well, when I jumped in, of course, Facebook was all the rage. And I thought, ooh, I'll be really clever, and I'll get FB for Facebook. And I was really surprised they allowed me to have that. But I did. I have FB Smarty. I also go by social media by Michelle. And my name is branded Michelle Fontaine. So either of those three things, if you Google me, I'm pretty much all of page one. All of page one. Yeah. And, and that was part of your social media strategy. That's right. <laughs> to make sure that you were. So how, really, how important is utilizing social media specifically to the, you know, the person who's asking for it? How important is that today? I mean, can you kind of not do it? You know, when we say social media, it sounds fluffy. It sounds not serious. And really, it's the business of being social. It's about building relationships, as we do in business anyway, don't we? Mm -hmm. But in a virtual sense. So it's still very much relationship building. And it is so important because never, never in the course of marketing have we ever been able to target so specifically, which opens up a, ha a whole other can of worms. Because if I can target, if I wanted to target expectant parents, Mm -hmm. in Worcester and 10 miles beyond, I can reach the 17,000 people who are expecting a baby. That's amazing, isn't it? It is totally amazing. And with Facebook, the, you can get right down to a very granular level. And But the thing is, your target audience is so small, you're going to keep hitting them, they're going to get annoyed really fast. Yeah. Because That's it true. is targeted. So you need to do it carefully. Right. So how does, how does a small business, for instance, when they when they first come to you and they say, I have a small business and yes, I already put myself on Facebook, for instance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I want to know, you know, would I really use LinkedIn because I'm a business as opposed to a person? And what about Twitter? And you know, how could I be Twittering while I'm working? And you know, and you know, is that really the right thing for me? How do you help people kind of weave through? And, and what are the major sites? I mean, what are, and also what are the three sites like? Like really, everybody should be on. Yep. Well, you've asked a bunch of questions there. I teach through virtual classes. If somebody, a, a business owner, wants to understand it, I actually teach intro to social media. I teach Facebook for business. I teach advanced strategies. So they can get a handle on it themselves. Now, where would they find out about taking classes FBSmarty.com. Like okay. It's every, all the information is there. Or Google me. <laughs> but um, so we have the virtual classes for the do-it-yourself person. And often they start that way. But companies that really don't have the time, they just need me to go in and say, what should I do? Mm -hmm. Which is the other question you asked. The answer is going to be, it depends. Depends. Are you going to help? If they're a B2B business, they absolutely need to be on LinkedIn, and they need to have that optimized. All right? Okay. But Facebook is also B2B. Because if you think about it, if you're a B2B business, who are you trying to reach? It might be you want to reach the plant manager in that business. Mm -hmm. It's still P2P. It's still people to people. Right. So you're cultivating an audience. You're cultivating the people you want to reach. And that is so well done on Facebook. But what I'd like to do is sort of get, give you a whole picture so you can understand. It's not this, it's not this, it's not this. Your website is still the center of it all. Mm -hmm. And blogging, fresh content, is what's going to get you up in the ratings on Google mm -hmm. faster than anything it, without spending money on SEO. If you can write, if you have a company and you can write to that audience or hire somebody to write mm -hmm. consistently. 
Then you blog, you publish it, immediately can go to Facebook, immediately can go to Twitter, immediately can go to Google Plus mm -hmm. by using tools like Hootsuite, H O O T S U I T E dot com. That's a free tool to automatically, you know, automatically schedule things. You can do things efficiently, but the fresh content is what, what's going to bring people back to your website. Okay, but what kind of fresh con content do yep. you put up? I mean, it, yep. I mean, you're not going to be saying what you have for lunch because no, it's no, not no, it's no, not no, a person no. to person thing. It's not a, like a fun. I mean, you kind of have to separate your personal with your business. That's another good point you're bringing up because a lot of it, one of the big mistakes people made when Facebook first came out is they started a personal profile. Mm -hmm. A personal profile collects friends, all right, and there are many things you cannot do with a personal profile. You need to have a Facebook business page. Okay. All right, so that's the num number one thing. If you've got a personal profile with 5,000 friends, yeah. you need to get that Facebook page growing. That's right. where you need to be so you can do custom apps and Facebook ads and all kinds of things that you can't do on the other side. And I think I got a little sidetracked with that. What was the question? <laughs> Oh, the fresh content, yeah. what do you talk about? That's right, what do you talk about? If you're in business, you should be an expert at what you do. Am right. I right? So are you mean are you giving out tips? Are yes. you saying you're giving out tips, tutorials, proving to people that you're an expert on the subject. Okay. okay. We we talked about roofers a little bit ago. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So if you're a roofer, there are lots of tips you can give homeowners. Mm -hmm. With but the, you know the tough thing is not giving away the store. Yeah, I was gonna yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You jump it on is. that one, yeah. No, no, it really is. It, it, but there's still a whole bunch of things you can talk about. You can talk about things in the house or ventilation or things that might affect a roof or the types of roofs. Yeah. Lots of things you can talk about. And, and not make it seem like an ad. Oh, yeah, you can't. No, no, it has to be you're giving, you're giving, you're giving. You're giving 80% and it's then like you It's like a personal back. kind of thing. Not just, you know, we use this because it's really good and and start throwing out statistics and stuff like that. You could, yeah, I mean, you could tell stories. Tell stories. Yeah. Every home has a story, doesn't it? Yeah, it, that's true, it does. Bring testimonials in. Bring in, I don't know, humor. Yeah. If you can, you certainly yeah. want to bring in humor. But it's... Question and answer? Question and answer, absolutely. There are a lot, there are so many strategies to find things to blog about. You can ask on your Facebook page, what mm -hmm. do you want me to write about this week? And you can ask questions. You can do a poll. Yeah. And based on what people say or questions they hear about their roofs. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things you can blog about. But the point is Google looks for fresh content. And blogging is a way to, to And get blogging your inside your website, wordpress.com, mm -hmm. wordpress.org, I'm sorry, wordpress.org, the self-hosted one, not wordpress.com. Anybody can open up a wordpress.com site. Mm -hmm. But you know who gets the SEO juice when that when you write in a WordPress.com site? Yeah. WordPress. Not your company. Oh, you see? Okay, yeah. It's got to be under your roof, under your domain. And then you want to drive traffic to your website, sure. to buy your product, to learn more, to watch your video that you've got embedded in the website that's really on YouTube, but you've also got it embedded in your website. The whole point of all of these things, mm -hmm. and you're reaching different audiences with all of them, with Twitter, with Pinterest, with Facebook, with LinkedIn, with Google Plus. So mm -hmm. oh, thank you so much, Michelle, for coming. <laughs> You're welcome. On. You're welcome. Uh, thank you. I am Ramona, and you've been watching Ramona Interviews. Have a wonderful week.